just had a delivery come in and I've got these five watches here that I've sold and need to go out today. So that is gonna be the mission of probably the first part of this video, go in places to drop these off with clients, some end customers, the members, members of the public, and also um, a couple of dealers actually that I've sold to. So first of all, let's open this up. Now this is an interesting one because if you guys follow my, um, my watch Instagram underscore watch life, you'll know this watch. You will have seen it because I actually made, I made a video on this watch. I actually sold this to my best client ever. So I have a guy who has been extremely loyal for the past almost three years now. So my, I think one of my first watches to him, I think since then he's probably bought, correct me if I'm wrong dude, but you've probably bought 12, 13 watches. So uh, yeah, amazing, amazing, super, super collector. But he decided that he did not like this watch. I'm trying to remember the exact reason what he said. I think, do you know what it is? I think he prefers rose gold. So. This is a day day, it's a 228238. It's yellow gold, this one. And the dial is white. White Roman. And like I said, this was on my uh, Instagram. I basically explained how I got this watch, uh, where I got it from. I got it in Canary Wharf. Uh, it's 2023, full set, all the links and all that kind of stuff. So it's an interesting one because <clears throat> The day that he said he didn't want it anymore, somebody asked me for this exact watch. So I, very luckily, this happens sometimes, very luckily, I already have this sold. And the guy I'm actually meeting tomorrow, and I'll explain more about it tomorrow, but it's actually a part exchange deal. So I'm taking in a watch and he's getting this. But for today, there's a lot of uh, travel. I'm meeting a load of people. So for example, I have a, well, maybe I'll just go out and show you, but a dealer's bought these two from me, right here, and another dealer has bought this one. This is a, an older box, as you can see, so it's a vintage watch. And then I have a client that I'm meeting in literally, I think, 30 minutes. He's buying this one, so I'll tell you about that one in a minute. And then I also, I need to go to Canary Wharf again, because another client, has bought this and he's giving me a watch in return plus some cash on top. So it's it's a busy one. But I think what I'm gonna do as the day goes on, I'm gonna explain where I am, who I'm with, and uh, yeah, a bit more about how business has been and all that kind of stuff. So right, first point of call is this one. Okay, so the first watch that I sold to uh, somebody is a Datus 41 Blue Dial. Oyster bracelet, fluted bezel. I did mention this in my last video, and uh, I think somebody obviously liked the look of it, decided to buy it. Great watch, it's 2024 full set. So, uh, just heading to Central now. I'm about to meet the person who is collecting it. It's all, I find it fascinating. You know, I've met hundreds of people in the last couple of years, and I just love hearing about people's life stories, how they got into watches why they're buying a particular watch, why they might be selling a collection, all this kind of stuff. It's very, very, very interesting. So uh, I would definitely say one of, the, one of the best parts of being a watch dealer, having a watch business is the people that you meet. I know it sounds quite cringy and cliche, but it, it really is. It's uh, one of the only things that is unique about what I do. I get the same watches in most, for the most part, week in, week out, but the people are always different. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to meeting this guy and uh, I'll see you afterwards. Okay, so just left the guy who I just met for the date just. That was his first ever Rolex purchase. And this is what I mean when I talk about hearing people's stories. Yeah, fascinating. Um, really happy that he's been able to purchase his first watch. I'm now off to Hatton Garden. I need to meet a, another watch trader to drop off a couple of watches that he's bought. So uh, yeah, let's go. just got into Hatton Garden. As I said, I'm seeing a dealer to drop off two watches. For people that don't know, uh, sometimes I sell watches to clients, members of the public. Sometimes I sell watches to other watch businesses. It all depends. Like um, there's, there's business for both areas. You know, this person who I'm selling the watches to, this business, 
had customers for these specific two watches. So while I would have probably done better money-wise financially if I sold them myself, um, I can still make a bit of money selling them to another watch business. So it's just one of those things, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, this is the main street in Hound Garden. If you've never been here, if you've never seen it, uh, looks much better because it's a sunny day, but uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you after this one. Just taking a bit of a break now. It's lunchtime, gonna get some food and a drink. Uh, my next stop is Canary Wharf, 2 p.m. I am dropping off a watch and also collecting as well because it's a part exchange. I'll show you what both watches are when I get there. Literally just at Harrods at the moment. Very nice place, very nice part of London. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you when I get to Canary Wharf. So, just got um, back into central London from Canary Wharf, so um, I gave a guy a 2019 Panda and he gave me a sub bluesy 2021 in return on money on top as well. Um, but yeah, he, he loved the watch. The blues is great, so that's for sale. But I'm now back in central London. I'm now in bank because I need to meet somebody else. I'm dropping off a vintage day date, which is 1991, 36mm, really nice dial. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think uh, this one is going to be a pretty quick one because it's another dealer. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you after that. Okay, just dropped off the day day all went well got paid had a nice catch-up um, yeah this is uh, this is what it's like in a day for me at least running a watch business very uh, all over the place have to schedule the day precisely so I get to every place on time because I don't want to be late um, but it's good fun especially when it's sunny, it's so nice. I wish it was like this all the time, but it's not. It's only three, four months of the year, if, if that at all. Anyway, next point of call is back to West London because I have to meet uh, somebody I'm buying a GMT. So let's go collect it. This is the GMT that I just picked up. Um, it's one of the, well, it's the new one. It's the, uh, quite a divisive watch I would say. It's the Bruce Wayne. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, the GMT Master 2 with the black and grey bezel. It's on the Jubilee bracelet. This is a 2024. It's brand brand new, like days old kind of new. And uh, yeah, full set. Um, really popular watch still. So yeah, I would say if you're looking, please do get in touch. I quite like it, but if I compare it to a Pepsi or a Batman, Batgirl, or the, the Zombie, the two-tone watch, or the Root Beer, or this watch, I know it's not a GMT, but it's still uh, a sports watch, um, I I don't think it's up there with the best. It's it's nice, but it's not, it's not the best. We've been treated with some good GMTs in the last 10 years or so, and that's probably not one of the better ones, but it's still a really nice watch. This is the um, the Submariner that I picked up, which was um, on a part exchange when I got the Daytona. Uh, the, sorry, I sold the Panda Daytona and I got this in return. Uh, Bluesy, really cool, full set 2021. So, that is also for sale. Um, Right now, the plan is I need to head back out because I'm selling uh, I'm selling a watch that I sold to my best client uh, a couple of months ago. He decided he didn't want it anymore, and so I've been able to sell it. Very lucky that someone else was um, interested in it at the point when I got it back. So I need to I need to go meet the guy now, and I will be getting a watch in return. It is. It's a really good watch. It's a watch that's actually very close to my heart, near and dear. Uh, one of the watch, I had this watch for six years myself in my personal collection, all the way back in 2016, I bought this watch for me. So anyway, let's go get it. And yeah, 
I'll see you on the road. Okay, successfully uh, dropped off the day date with the guy. It was his Grail watch, so it feels amazing when I can uh, be of uh, use to people in this in this life in this world. So, yeah, he really likes it. Um, he did part exchange a watch, and that watch is a Submariner. It's the green, green on green, 2017 Hulk. Beautiful watch. I I really like the watch. I had one for six years myself in my personal collection. So. Really, really like it. Um, and it's funny as well because back in 2017 was when I bought it, and I got it for I got it for six and a half k, and it's definitely not worth that today. So yeah, that's pretty much me done for the day. Look at this car; it's tiny, tiny car. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go home now, have some dinner, relax. Yeah. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.